Reading and Vocabulary, Series 1, Facts and Figures, 4th Edition, by Patricia Eckert and Linda Lee. Copyright 2005, by Thompson Heinley, a part of the Thompson Corporation. All rights reserved. Unit 1, Animals. Unit 1, Lesson 1, The Kiwi. The kiwi lives only in New Zealand. It is a very strange bird because it cannot fly. The kiwi is the same size as a chicken. It has no wings or tail. It does not have feathers like other birds. Its feathers look like hair. Each foot has four toes. Its beak is very long. A kiwi likes to have a lot of trees around it. It sleeps during the day because the sunlight hurts its eyes. It can smell things very well. It smells things better than most birds do. The kiwi's eggs are very big. There are only a few kiwis in New Zealand now. People do not often see them. The government says that people cannot kill kiwis. New Zealanders want their kiwis to live. There is a picture of a kiwi on New Zealand money. People from New Zealand are sometimes called kiwis. Unit 1, Lesson 2, The Camel The camel can go without water for a long time. Some people think it stores water in its hump. This is not true. It stores food in its hump. The camel's body changes the food into fat. Then the fat is stored in the hump. A camel cannot store the fat all over its body. Fat all over an animal's body keeps the animal warm. Camels live in the desert. They do not want to be warm during the day. The desert is very hot. The camel gets hotter and hotter during the day. It stores this heat in its body because the nights are cool. The Arabian camel has one hump. The Bactrian camel of Central Asia has two humps. It also has long, thick hair because the winters are cold in Central Asia. There is a lot of sand in the desert. The camel has long eyelashes. The eyelashes keep the sand out of the camel's eyes. Arabic has about 150 words to describe a camel. Many people who speak Arabic need all these words because the camel is very important to them. Unit 1, Lesson 3, The Polar Bear The polar bear is a very big white bear. We call it the polar bear because it lives inside the Arctic Circle near the North Pole. There are no polar bears at the South Pole. The polar bear lives in the snow and ice. At the North Pole, there is only snow, ice, and water. There is not any land. People cannot see the polar bear in the snow very well because its coat is yellow-white. It has a very warm coat because the weather is cold north of the Arctic Circle. This bear is three meters long and it weighs 450 kilos, kilograms. It can stand up on its back legs because it has very wide feet. It can use its front legs like arms. The polar bear can swim very well. It can swim 120 kilometers out into the water. It catches fish and sea animals for food. It goes into the sea when it is afraid. Some people want to kill the polar bear for its beautiful white coat. The governments of the United States and Russia say that no one can kill polar bears now. They do not want all of these beautiful animals to die. Unit 1, Lesson 4, The Hippopotamus The hippopotamus, or hippo, lives in the hot part of Africa. It is a mammal, that is, its babies are born alive and they drink milk from the mother's body. The hippopotamus is a large animal. 
It weighs four tons. Its stomach is seven meters long, and it eats only plants. It is a mammal, but it spends a lot of time in the water. During the day, it sleeps beside a river or a lake. Sometimes it wakes up. Then it goes under the water to get some plants for food. It can close its nose and stay under water for ten minutes. Its ears, eyes, and nose are high up on its head. It can stay with its body under the water and only its ears, eyes, and nose above the water. Then it can breathe the air. At night, the hippo walks on the land and looks for food. It never goes very far from the water. A baby hippo often stands on its mother's back. The mother looks for food underwater. The baby rides on her back above the water. Unit 1, Lesson 5 The Dolphin Can dolphins talk? Maybe they can't talk with words, but they talk with sounds. They show their feelings with sounds. Dolphins travel in a group. We call a group of fish a school. They don't study, but they travel together. Dolphins are mammals, not fish, but they swim together in a school. Dolphins talk to the other dolphins in the school. They give information. They tell when they are happy or sad or afraid. They say, welcome, when a dolphin comes back to the school. They talk when they play. They make a few sounds above water. They make many more sounds underwater. People cannot hear these sounds because the sounds are very, very high. Scientists make tapes of the sounds and study them. Sometimes people catch dolphins for a large aquarium. An aquarium is a zoo for fish. People can watch the dolphins in a show. Dolphins don't like to be away from their school in an aquarium. They are sad and lonely. There are many stories about dolphins. They help people. Sometimes they save somebody's life. Dolphin meat is good, but people don't like to kill them. They say that dolphins bring good luck. Many people believe this.